Shalom Juice Gang family. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you all a Dollar Tree haul. I had to go to the dentist and the dentist was 45 minutes away from my home and I was going to go to the Dollar Tree once I got back in my area but when I noticed that they had one right around the corner from the dentist's office I decided to go there and see what they had. So I had my checklist on me and my main focus was to stock up on as much fruit and beans as possible. So what you see here is $83 worth of preps. I was lucky and blessed that I was able to get these items. I picked out the ones that had the best dates and I made sure that they didn't have any dents in their cans. So that's very important. Make sure that there are no dents in the cans and you get the ones with the best dates. So I have over here mandarin oranges. I picked up 10 cans of mandarin oranges. They did have more, but they had dents in the can and I did not like the dates on them because these are going in my prepper stash. Making sure that they have the longest shelf life is very important. And then I have over here some apricots. I like apricots. My kids like apricots. So I picked up 10 cans of these as well. And then I picked up some peaches. My kids like peaches. I love peaches. Even though, you know, I'm on keto and I cannot have these. But in a SHTF situation, remember, all bets are off and it's about survival. So it is very important that, you know, I have things in the stash that I like too. And I will be enjoying these peaches. And I picked up 10 cans of the peaches. And I like to take peaches and especially when they're fresh, you can grill them. You can bake them in the oven and, you know, put them over some ice cream with walnuts. There are plenty of things that you can do with peaches and you can make pies. Um, I have a lot of recipes up my sleeve when it comes to things like this. And yeah, this is a must have. And then I picked up pears, but I was only able to get two cans of pears. I do have more pears in my stash, which I am thankful and grateful for that because they only had two cans and these last two that I picked up, they didn't have any dents in them and the dates were good. So I added them in my cart. And then I have over here some mangoes. My kids love mangoes. I love mangoes. I wish I could eat them, but they're just too high in sugar. So those are off of the list on keto, but in a SHDF situation, Yes, I will be enjoying these mangoes. So I stocked up on these. I was only able to get eight cans. They had, um, I want to say they had a little over 15 cans, but out of the 15, I was only able to get eight of them. They had good dates and no dents. So I was glad that I got eight of those. And then I have here some pineapple and I got 10 cans of pineapple. My kids love pineapples. I use these to add to their fruit bowls. And yeah, um, gotta have my pineapples. Remember to always get the foods that you love to eat for you and your family. Don't just be stocking on stuff, stocking up on stuff just to have it because it's gonna go to waste if you don't like it. Because this stuff has to go in rotation. And then I picked up some olives. I love olives. I like to add these to pizza. I like to make Mediterranean omelets. And I like to snack on them. And I like to add them to my salad. So I picked up 10 cans of olives. And yes, olives are keto approved. So I had to get my olives. And then I picked up... 10 cans of black beans. This is a must have to have beans. And I like to go for the ones in the cans because if something kicks off, I don't have to worry about using a lot of water to cook them. And for those of you all who may not have a generator, 
how do you plan on cooking your beans if they're dried? And that's a process. So if you don't have a portable gas stove or uh, a Dutch oven, any of those items to cook your beans, um, you need to stick with the canned goods. So that is something to think about. Now, I do have a portable gas stove and I do have a generator. I have a solar generator at that. But I don't want to be using my energy towards something that I could have been more careful about and use better judgment with my choices. So this is why I like to stock up on a lot of the canned beans. And the date on these, it goes bad in 2026. So I was like, yeah, let me get these. But I was so bummed out because I was only able to get 10 of them because these ones had the best dates and they didn't have any dents in the can. And back here, I have some chickpeas. I love chickpeas because I like to use these to make hummus for me and the kids. And I got the last eight cans. So I was lucky that I got these and these were definitely on my checklist. And then I picked up my favorite, my pink Himalayan sea salt. Now, Walmart has these for like three and some change, probably like three fifty, and it just <laughs> cracks me up every time when I see it because I know for a fact that I can pick these up at the Dollar Tree, and I picked up five of these. I have more of these in my stash, but with everything going on, I decided to stock up on some more, and it's not going to hurt to have plenty of salt. So yeah, and the expiration date on these are pretty good. Um, where's the date at? As you can see, March 2026. So this will be lasting a while in the stash. So this is everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I hope that it gives you all some ideas on what you can get. I will be going back to the Dollar Tree to check out and see what they have because the shortages are real. And I need more beans and I need more fruits. That is a fact. And I want to be picking up a lot of different variety of beans. Um, kidney beans and butter beans. I love butter beans, especially with some oxtail. So, yeah, I have to stock up on all of those things. So, if you all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Shalom.